this showdown. So here we go. We've got Ricky Gamble in the blue. We've got Tedas from Lonsdale in the red. And Tedas has brought a big crowd in tonight. And of course, Ricky Gamble from the Flight Fit Gym in at Southend. And of course, he's got the absolutely wonderful lady, great promoter as well, Sarah Clayton, working in the corner tonight in the blue corner for Ricky. So again, the Lonsdale Gym, very familiar with Against the Ropes and do a lot of, uh, they put a lot of box on these shows. But these two warriors, very, very renowned in the heavyweight sport on the championship boxing scene. And they're both up for it tonight. So there's he's strong and powerful. Ricky is sweet. And he's got some sweet science of boxing. Again, he's a very good trainer as well, Ricky Gamble. So again, both sides need each other up, but both throwing out some good, good, solid shots. Uh, both guiding up well. Both guiding up very, very well. And again, this is for a big title tonight. You know, this is the gold title. This ain't no, no messing about. This is for the serious business. This is who's going to be the heavyweight gold champion for Against the Rose promotions. Serious business here tonight. Moving into the last 30 seconds. So that's really pushing forward at the moment. But Ricky blocking well. But he's just leaving, leaving himself a little bit open on that right side. He's just dropping that right down and Tadas just connected with the left. But then Ricky's come straight back in with two solid shots straight down the pipe. You know, very evenly matched, very good, good, good boxing from both these Warriors and very, you can see why they are up for the gold title here tonight. Title fight business here tonight. And again, this has been sponsored by Quadrant Electricals. So Quadrant Electricals sponsoring this bout tonight with these two Warriors. Again, we've got Ricky Gamble in the blue. We've got Sarah Clayton in his, in his corner. Top top boxing promoter and a boxer who's been around as well, which is great to see. And of course, the Lonsdale team absolutely love this sport. They love this game and they love being a part of Against the Ropes promotions. And to that, I'm sure he's boxing nearly every single show against the ropes and always brings a solid crowd with him so great to see both these warriors going out i think that's just edging it for me at the moment but again a big shot there by ricky ricky just coming over just just pumped out a little right and then he just coming with a lovely left hook you know rick's rick's full some big big boxers on the unlicensed circuit and on the championship circuit you know, he hasn't uh, stepped away from that one, and as has Tadas, and that's why you've got two great warriors here tonight for the showdown against the Rose Promotion and being our concluding contest, and you can see why. So that's there, just put a lovely, lovely shot. It's an overhand right, just planting straight into the eye. You know, just hoping they haven't slowed him down a bit. But he's got his work cut out this evening. Another big right shot from Tadas. He's just, as, he, as he's throwing that, so someone's got a bit of blood on him. There's a little bit of blood somewhere coming. Not too sure from where. Uh, there is a clash of heads. Big body shot there from Rick. Ricky just really put a big left body shot in. There's some blood on me. He's done his eye, his eye's cut. So that's his eye's cut. I'm not too sure what Ricky's gonna do here. There's a lot of claret going about I'm just going to move myself a little bit away from ringside but uh, the medical team said he's good to go the corner are happy his eyes is definitely open so he hasn't closed the eye the eye isn't closing and it doesn't seem to be any significant swelling coming up at this time but the problem you've got is Ricky might use that now as a base to um, bring himself forward into this fight so if he drops that left hand again and then he brings that right in which he done in the first place he waited for Tadas to drop the left and then he brought the right over and that right then caught that eye so if he could do that again which he just really did then again he's dropping that left and then Rick is coming straight in with the right so he might just work him out he might throw a few lefts out but he's definitely going to work his way on that right eye again which could be dangerous and then that's where the medical team may have to step in but Ricky's well up for this at the minute, but Tadas known for his power. Tadas could really 
throw something out here and, and change the whole game. It really could change the game. I'm not too sure where the points are going to be going. I'm not too sure on the uh, judges' decisions here. But um, this is a great, great contest. And something against the ropes you'd be very proud to be hosting about like this. Really good stuff. You know, today Stone won't know mugs. Um, and that's why Ricky stepped in because Tadas wants to fight the best. He wants the best to come onto these shows, as, as does Matthew West. And uh, that's why they brought Ricky in. You know, they ain't brought someone who's just going to walk out and turn over. Turn over and come down from a long distance. They've, they've, they've got this man coming in to put on a show, to put on a battle. And they've told him he could win the title tonight if he wishes. And again, he's, he's caught him again. He's caught him again with the right straight onto the eye. So I don't know what the medicals are going to say. We're into the last 20 seconds. And uh, what a battle it is. But for me, Ricky's just edging it at the moment. I think Ricky's just doing enough. Uh, so Das has really got to up his game. Ricky's a very clever fighter, as is Tadas. You know, you can't take no away from each of these guys. Fantastic boxing from both these warriors. No, they're going in. They haven't called it off. They're saying, nope, let's do this. They're going to the fourth and final. Oh, I didn't think Tadas would step out. I thought Tadas, there's no way the red corner man is going to retire. He's going to want to get back out in front of his home crowd. He's going to want to get out and say, nope, I'm going back to business. But Gamble's definitely given him a run for his money, so I'm unsure what way we're going to go with the judges. Big shots again from Rick. And Tadez really coming in early. Tadez is really trying to hold him down. Lovely body shots there. Body shots straight in to the side. Straight into that right hand side of Tadez with the left. Just really punishing with that left, left jab to the ribs. Big shots again from both these guys. I'm unsure where we're going to go with this, but what a battle it is. <laughs> so again, we're just sitting at ringside now. Both these warriors, I mean, I'm stunned. It's such a good battle. I'm, I'm watching it. I'm intrigued by it. But again, Ricky's just smothered him with some beautiful combinations. So that's... Looks a little bit tired, but I'm unsure. I mean, we're going to see what our referee has to say. We're going to have to have a chat at ringside and see what they come up with. But we're into the last 25 seconds of the fourth and final round. And what a show this has been. Absolute credit to Makeda and Matthew West for putting this show on tonight. Against all odds, they always pull it out the bag. Against the road promotions, exactly what they do, exactly what's been done. And to finish off with this absolute cracking gold heavyweight title, absolutely amazing. Credit to you both. The showdown. In favor of the blue corner and your 